Hello, Sagittarius viewers. We're going to be looking into what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, um, any action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. We'll just see what the story is. I'm sorry for the delay, too. Got caught up with my other job. But let's see what the story is. Cards, please be clear. Please be direct to the point. What is the story? What do you need to know about your love life right now? I've been getting a strong, um, I want to say I've been getting a strong collective energy too of people basically um, moving on from, from, you know, toxic and stagnant connections where the person's acting on their fear, acting out of their pride. Um, holding back, ghosting, not just miscommunicating, not communicating at all, giving the silent treatment, not knowing who they are, not knowing what they want. There's a strong collective energy right now of moving away from those, from that kind of pe from those kind of people, and breaking old subconscious patterns and manifesting someone new that's just unlike anything you've ever known like just like a completely different kind of love than what you've ever experienced you know this goes for both men and women there's this whole collective energy group of um new dms and new dfs that are, are waiting to to come in that are just gonna they're gonna know who they are they're gonna know what they want they're gonna be sure about you they're gonna be treating you in a way that's unfamiliar to you they're gonna be treating you in a way that they just they haven't experienced that you haven't experienced before you know there it's going to be the kind of love you've been wanting but you never thought you could have that um and it does take you know mindfulness it does take breaking old patterns it does take a lot of inner work but we we're in this beautiful um period this beautiful process where we have the the opportunity to manifest life partners that are just completely unfamiliar to us completely not maybe not our type but just everything we've ever wanted you know someone who's just going to match our energy finally um and i'm just putting that out there because it's, it's a collective energy i've gotten it from for the majority of zodiac readings i've i've done for this month it's it keeps coming up and i feel this energy group so it's not just like it's not just one zodiac sign it's not like just sagittarius is it's like it's like the majority of you like all of all of us are collectively in this energy right now um and i can sense this group it's like a really it's a large group of dms and dfs that are just different than what we've experienced there's like there's a whole group out there that's just kind of waiting to come in like the it's, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. I think the divine kind of just got tired of the same old story with, with, you know, the soulmates and twin flames just always, you know, he's afraid or she's afraid, you know, they're, they're going through the dark night of the soul. They're working on themselves, yada, 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 you know, we're, we're stepping off that timeline and we're going towards, towards, towards a different timeline where it's not so much about healing people or, or, or doing this or doing that, but just, you know, being on our own personal journey and and having people that are, are, you know, come into our lives that are in alignment with us. Like, we finally have some good stuff coming in just for us, you know, that has nothing to do with, with... I mean, I don't want to say it doesn't have anything to do with our purpose. I'm sure that it does, but but it's something that's just, just to make us happy, to make you guys happy, you know? A lot of empaths are just kind of taking their power back and manifesting the person that's right for them. You know, not the divine isn't going to keep bringing people in that, you know, for you to heal them. It's like now we're manifesting people, you know, you guys are manifesting people that are just going to be right just for you personally. People that are going to make you happy. People that are going to understand you, you know. It's like it's not just going to be all about your person's feelings for a change. It's, it's about your feelings now. It's about what you want to manifest now. You know, the focus is on you. The divine is focused on you and on what you want. So it's really good energy. Got loyalty, stability, vows, apology, and regret. So you do have a, a apology coming in from someone else, but but you might want new. You know, this is, yeah, this is an ex. This is someone from the past. Choosing their words wisely, planning the approach. Ex, the past, chaser, chasey, power struggle. So someone's wanting to come in, probably stalking you on social media a little bit watching you trying to figure out how to come in because they don't want to say too little or too much um publicity social media yeah 
soulmate past life connection contract soul contract courage assertiveness motivation forward movement passion and romance so and i just can't stress what just emphasize enough just what a beautiful energy it is because it's like so many I mean, I've channeled for a while for, like, the, you know, the soulmate and the twin flame community, and for so long, like, it's just been this stagnant energy of, like, just being on this merry-go-round, same old story in the, in the readings, you know, he's afraid or she's afraid, they're, they're, you know, they're not sure what they want, blah, 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 and it's like, it's like you, this is this ex, so I'll tell you what's going on with them, I'll, you know, because it's, it's your choice to make, but it's like, it's just so amazing that you have this opportunity to, to cut this soul contract, to cut, to, to go inward and release old subconscious patterns and maybe old life contract, like past life, life contracts that have been repeating too, that you need to cut and clear. And you have the, this oper this beautiful opportunity. It's like a portal that we have right now, almost where it's like, you can just manifest somebody new, somebody who's just unfamiliar energy, maybe not your type, but just somebody who would just treat you the way that you deserve and want to be treated, you know, the kind of love that you've been wanting. It's like, I, it's, it's so exciting for me. I keep repeating it because it's like so exciting because I sense like a large, large group of these like new DMs and DFs almost. I don't know how to, how to even explain that. It's like, because you do have multiple, um, potential life partners and a lot of people do end up going for soulmates as life partners instead of twin flames so I'm not saying that your twin flame is going to be like replaced by a new twin flame I don't believe that's possible it's like you only have one twin flame but if you've been struggling with your twin flame the universe might be bringing you a, a soulmate life partner instead or vice versa maybe you've, you, you've been struggling with a with a soulmate that's a life partner and your universe might bring your twin flame instead or might bring another soulmate even that's a life partner. So don't get, don't ever get stuck at thinking that you just have one person. Like you have multiple potential life partners to choose from. Like, you know, the world is your oyster. You get to make these decisions. So it's like, you're not stuck with someone. I think sometimes like people get stuck because they're like, oh, I was told we're meant to be. And I was told, you know, all the synchronicity and this and this, but it's like, if it's hurting you, if it's stagnant then it's not worth it at a certain point, and you can manifest somebody who's actually ready to love you the way that you deserve and want to be loved. I guess I think that it's it's so weird because it's like it wasn't expected, you know? Like I a lot of you guys were on this path to being with a certain person and it's like the divine for all of you, not just not just Sagittarius's, but for like I think every probably probably every zodiac group I've read this is like a really strong collective energy. Usually I don't get collective energy like this. Usually it's just like kind of a you know, like not quite the same for each, each, each reading, but I mean, it's like a different story for each one of you, you know, like the path is different, but it's, it's a repeating story of letting go of the old and manifesting the new. And it's like, I guess the divine just stepped in and made this happen because I, I did not expect this. And then I started channeling it more and more and kind of, you know, seeing it was resonating with others too. And other people were on that, were on that path. Um, I guess they just got tired of seeing you guys in pain. They got tired of the same old story and they, they just, they're working on just this whole new group of people that are group of DMs and DFs that are just so different that they're, they're bringing in now. Um, it's like, we just, sh we just shifted timelines so quickly. We like changed collectively, universally. We all, we changed stories so quickly. It was so unexpected, but it's such a beautiful energy. Um, anyway, sorry for rambling. I just want to emphasize that loyalty, stability, vows. So yeah, this ex is going to come in eventually, um, with an apology, regret, you know, wanting to be more loyal, wanting to be more stable. Maybe they've been kind of flaky or unstable in the past. Could have been cheating, could have been just promises broken, you know, they're wanting to, they're considering doing it right this time. They're wanting to come through with this, with this apology and this regret. Um, they're choosing their words. This is the ex. So this is someone or someone from, from your past that, that, that this spread right here. They're choosing their words wisely though and planning their approach. You know, like I said, they don't want to say too much or say too little. They, they, they're kind of trying to figure out how to test the waters. Maybe you guys haven't talked for a while. And so they're just not really sure what to say. This energy could be coming into as a result of them seeing you move on with someone else or feeling that your your energy has shifted away from them. 
but I feel like I mean, I feel like they are going to test the water sooner or later. And like when they feel like they have an opening, they might get, give you an apology. But it might be a half-assed apology, to be honest. I don't know. Because I feel, I just feel unstable energy. It's like they want to be stable and they want to give you these, this loyalty and make these vows to you. But I feel like it's like in their heart to do that. But it's like their, their mind kind of blocks them from really giving that to you. You know what I mean? It's like I feel like they come in and maybe give it to you temporarily and make all these promises. But then it's like I feel like they want what they can't have. Chase or chasey power struggle. I feel like a lot of them just want to have their cake and eat it too so it's like they might come back around because they feel that you're moving on with somebody new or they might just feel that you're not entertaining this connection the way that you used to like you're kind of focusing on yourself or other things more and so it's like they're wanting to drag your energy back in and like tie you down again but like once they have you I feel like they just take you for granted and like that loyal st loyalty and stability and those promises just kind of go to shit you know what I mean it's like they just don't last it's like they it's just temporary energy that they come in with because they want to get you back but once they have you they take you for granted again and there's I think there's a power struggle here too like ego and pride where they're they're going to continue to put their pride first um chaser chasey i feel i do feel like they want what they can't have so it's like it's like this this power this oh this strange energy with them it's like you guys are just never there's love here there really is love here i'm not saying there's not but it's like you guys are never on the same page at the same time it's like either they're chasing you and you're pulling away and you're doing your own thing or you're chasing them and they're pulling away and they're taking you for granted. But I feel like this is somebody that doesn't know how to have stable relationships. This is somebody who wants deep down to have loyalty and stability and have like a home and a family. But they've got so many commitment issues. And it's like they like the idea of you, but they, they fail to handle the actuality of you. Like, they dream of true mutual love. Like, they dream of having someone to share their life with. But it's like, they're so independent and so, like, kind of damaged and just unstable that it's like, they like to dream about it. When, but when it comes to actually having it in front of their face, it terrifies them, you know? And again, there's just, they kind of want what they can't have. It's it's part of them sabotaging themselves, too. It's like... And you got to break that pattern too. If you're in this cycle with this person, you also got to break that pattern. Even if you decide that you want to keep entertaining this, at least break the chaser chasey pattern that you guys have going on here. Like don't allow that energy anymore into this connection. Like I don't know if you want to give an ultimatum or what you want to do, but don't allow the chaser chasey power struggle kind of energy here in this connection any longer at least. At least. It's like they just they want to they want to test the waters to see if you'll give them a second chance is what I get. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like them. I'm like I'm looking at it. It's like it's kind of like them. It's just their way of sabotaging themselves. You know, I mean, I think they really they have this sub. They have a really strong subconscious pattern of of like going for people that are unattainable. You know, wanting the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. You know, always wanting what they can't have. Um, and it's self sabotage too. It's like. It's easy when someone's rejecting you or someone's distant or if they don't know where they stand with you, it's easy for them to chase you in those situations. But when it comes down to like you being open and saying, hey, I'm here, I love you, I want this, then that's when it's like all too real for them and they run, you know. Um, there's some stalking going on here, publicity, social media might be coming, wanting to come through with a message on social media too. Uh, some kind of some kind of public public energy too, maybe just like kind of that could be what's showing them that they don't have you on lockdown like they used to. But again, you really got to be careful when this comes back around. You have to be be mindful because they do still have this pattern they haven't really broken. It's kind of deep rooted to be honest. I feel for the majority of them, it's kind of it is kind of deep rooted. Um, you might want to go back and look at my old Sagittarius videos. I don't know if it was like two or three months ago, but I did some in-depth videos that just kind of explained. It didn't really go into detail about what they were feeling or thinking at the time so much as it just went into detail about their commitment issues, like their their childhood, kind of like where their commitment issues stem from, like why they do the things they do. Um, it might give you some clarity on them if you are, are wanting to go deeper into this. Just go back and look. 
Um, they're probably like two or three months old, but you should be able to find them on my channel. But this is probably a soul contract that you're repeating with this person. Could be a past life connection to um, a soulmate connection that you just you keep repeating this with this person. And you might need to figure out what that soul contract is and what patterns from your past life you're repeating and maybe do some cut and clear work to to remove that energy if you choose to. And if you do, you know, then you have courage, assertiveness, forward movement, motivation, just, you know, going it's like the chariot going head head first into your life um, and you have a new passionate romantic relationship coming in. So it's your choice between these two partners. You might not have manifested the new one yet, but again, it's a collective energy I feel where they're, they're coming in for you guys. Some of you have already met them. Some of you are about to meet them. Um, it's happening throughout this year, I feel. But let's see what's going up with the new person. What else can we say about that? Vulnerability, receptivity, manipulation, deception, hesitation, mixed feelings. I think this is more about the old person still. Yeah, because we got fast moving energy here, so quickly moving out of this. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict, fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events, love offer. Oop, okay. <laughs> love offer, commitment, hidden truth. I'm asking my pendulum too. Okay, I'm getting, yeah, this is not the new person. Definitely not the new person. This is show me more about the old person, um, about the ex. So it's like you were vulnerable and receptive. Like you were in this very feminine energy. Even if you're a man, you could still be in this feminine, open energy. Um, and it's like they were like manipulative, deceptive. Like they didn't really, they just wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Maybe they led, maybe they kind of led you on a little bit. Maybe they, they pretend to be, to be ready because they wanted to win you back, but they knew deep down that they were not ready for you. Um, and they have hesitation and mixed feelings here. And you're moving past that energy. A lot of times, like, if I ask, like, hey, what's up with the new person and the old person comes up, it's kind of saying, like, well, if you want to manifest a new person, you're going to have to clear this old energy out. You're going to have to make that decision. And, again, it doesn't mean you have to, like, I don't know if you have to necessarily 100%, like, go of the old person, but it's, like, you have to... They can't have control over your emotions like this. You know what I mean? You kind of have to get in that space where you're open to somebody new coming back. There's like an energetic difference between waiting and putting your life on hold for somebody and just holding space for them. Like I'd be open if this ex came back, but you know, I'm also open to somebody new coming back around, coming around, you know, like really notice the energetic difference between, between waiting for somebody and holding space for somebody. Might even be saying, you know, like with betrayal, jealousy, conflict, or they could be jealous of this new person, or they could be feeling this new person in your energy field. You could also be feeling this new person in the energy field, kind of feeling like a relationship is just right around the corner for you, but you don't know who it's going to be with. Um, but there's some kind of betrayal and jealousy and conflict here with this past person. But fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events, you know, if you decide to let this go, it's like a tower moment coming in to just purge that out of you, um, releasing it. And this, this new person could be coming in pretty quick with a love offer, with a commitment, with something more stable than what the other person could offer you. Hidden truth here. Um, I think you, I think it means a couple things. I think for one thing, you're going to get the truth about your per the ex's feelings. I think once they realize they really have lost you, they're probably going to come forward and pour their heart out, but it might just be too little too late at that point. I think the second hidden truth, I kind of, I'm drawn, I always intuitively read the cards in each reading and I'm drawn to look at this, the two different, see these two different energies. One, one has a, it's like, I guess it's probably supposed to be the same guy, but one has a mask on and one is taking his mask off and he's looking at it and he doesn't need it. And it's kind of like the ex has the mask on with you. Like they never trust love. They're always afraid. And this person is like afraid. To, this new person is afraid too, but they're taking the mask off for you. They're looking at it like, you know what? I don't need this mask with this person. I'm going to trust this person. I'm going to be vulnerable and receptive with this person. I'm going to see what's up and I'm going to present them this love offer. So this energy will probably come in quick. Um, the choice is yours, you know? I hope this resonates. Please subscribe to me if it does. I do these readings regularly. And if you'd like a, a paid private reading, my email is below. Um, I do video readings as well for um, $50. And they, they tend to last quite a while. I, I 
typically anywhere from 35 minutes to an hour. Um, I really go in depth with my with my video readings, and those are fifty dollars. I also do sell these oracle decks as well. If you're interested, my contact info is below. So thank you for watching.